What is up, y'all? It's the Eric B, your stream teach here, and every streamer needs a Be Right Back screen. Yes, even you. While those Be Right Back screens are on, typically they're static images or some music with a video looping or something. What if I could help you make your Be Right Back screens more engaging, therefore upping your retention by making people stay by showing people your best content, while also making sure that every time that scene plays something new is being shown to the viewer so that both veterans and new viewers get the same engaging experience let's talk about it class is in session first off i gotta say shout out to jared kodoff for this application second thing i want to mention is that i used to try to use this and then it would freeze every now and then it seems like that issue's been resolved so that's why i'm actually making a video about it now in the meantime between it not working and now I used the VLC video player plugin and that allowed me to essentially do the same thing. What that would do is cut off the last second of the video and oftentimes in the style of my editing, that last second is exactly where the joke is. So it would just ruin it. It was supposed to look like this. Jada, you say that shit? Nah, I'm playing. But it ended up looking like this. Jada, you say that shit? Nah, I'm playing. So with all that being said, let's get into it. Here's how you download a clip. Click on your icon, video producer. Clips on the left pane, click on the clip you want to download, click on the share button, click on the download. In the description, there's a download link that will lead you directly to this page on GitHub. What you're gonna do there is scroll down and you're gonna click on the download button. Once you do that, you just find which application works for your system. I'm using Windows, so I'm clicking on Windows 64 bit. And as you can see, it is downloaded. So let's open that up. We are going to extract the files. Extract. Drag this executable file into the folder where your media is. And I have a folder called Twitch Clips, which is, as the name implies, various Twitch Clips. Once we've done that, we're going to double click on that file and it's going to open a prompt and you will also get this as well. Now I have scanned the application with malware bytes. It is clean. We get this pop up because it's unrecognized. So if you get this message, you have my word that it is safe. If this bricks your computer, feel free to send me an email from your mobile device at sorry to hit at, at gmail.com. So I'm going to click on more info and run anyway. Now that we have our prompt open, we are going to answer the questions with a Y or an N. So do we want to only play one video in my case? No. Do you want to loop the first video? Again, in my case, no. Do you have a transition video? This video plays after every other video. In my case, no. If you were wondering what you would put in between your videos, maybe your logo or something, but I don't need it. Now it's created a new file here, and I want you to remember what that looks like. So now we're going to go into our program. This works with OBS or Streamlabs OBS. We are going to add a browser source. So plus on under sources, browser, I'm going to name it clips and I'm going to click OK. So now what I'm going to do here is check the local file box and it will ask me to locate the file. So I'm going to click browse. We're going to navigate back to Twitch clips and we're gonna find that file that we just created. There it is. And we're gonna click open, and then I'm gonna copy the path there. I'm highlighting that, control C. Then we're gonna uncheck local file, and then I'm gonna double click on that, control V to paste it. And since my canvas size is 1080p, we're gonna do 1920 by 1080. And I'm gonna scroll past all this. I wanna shut down the source when not visible. And I want to refresh the browser when the scene becomes active. So what that means is that every time I switch to my Be Right Back scene, it's going to play a new video from the top so that people won't be confused and the video is just playing in the middle. We're going to leave page permissions at read access to OBS status information. And then we are going to click OK. And as you can see, we have a new browser source with our Twitch clips playing. And we can place this, of course, wherever we want to on that scene. And you can't hear it because I'm not playing desktop audio into my recording software right now, but just know that I can hear it. So as you can see, it's a straightforward process that's pretty much guaranteed to keep butts in seats. And I'm all about making sure that my viewers are entertained. Even when I'm not there, I can still be there. If you wanna see me where I make my Twitch clips, 
feel free to check me out at twitch.tv slash the Eric V. And if you like the video, then like the video. Class dismissed. Shout out to Brothers JC, Dr. J, and Mocha Medics for being tier three. Now, this is the Lisa Simpson. This is Lisa Simpson like shit. <laughs> If this ain't the same face, like, shit, man, hold up. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs>